Okay, so our English class is beginning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for your class. It's a long time no give the English talk. So today I will teach you the new function, which is called home run, home position, and the bottom catch. My name is Jesse Lin. So today you from this course, and I think you will learn how to use home position very well and how to combine with these two functions. So before our class, let us play a game. <coughs> Think about it, okay? There are eight red balls and two green balls in the box. The rules, you c the first one, you can get $100 if you catch green balls three times in section. The second the lure, Pay someone 100 if you catch red balls three times in section. Then the last one, no need to pay money if you catch balls of different colors three times in section. So let's see the first one. There are eight balls, uh, eight red balls and two green balls. So if you uh, catch the balls at radium, so which which uh, which color ball you will get? The possibility is higher. Red, right, because eight red balls, only two green balls. So the first one, will you play this game or not? No, because you will lose, mo you will lose your money, right? So you, can, you will not play this game. So how about the last, the next one? Pay some $100, $100 if you catch red balls three times in section, will you play or not? No or not? No, because the possibility is high, right? The last one, no need to pay money if you catch balls of different colors three times in section. No need to pay the money. So will you pay or not? Right. <laughs> okay. So no need to pay money if you catch balls of different colors three times in section. Okay. So. This is the game, like uh, we operate our stocks, right? We invest some stocks. So if you think the possibility of loss is higher, you play or not, you should give up, okay? Let's see this one. What if there are five red balls and five green balls? What's the difference? Or three red balls, seven green balls? So the possibility is different, right? Okay, so in the mark in the stock market, is money making opportunities larger in the uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend, right? So recently we know that some stocks still in the uptrend, right? Okay, so most investors only look at the price and listen to the news, seldom analyze trends. So analyze trends is very important. Firstly, let's see the market. So we can see the market has strong rebound, right? Okay, then we can see here. Let's compile with the volume. So we can see here, the market is still in the uptrend, right? For short term, still in the uptrend. So how to judge whether the trend is uptrend or downtrend? You can judge by these candlesticks. If you see the green candlestick, more than red candlestick, which means the chain is up. Then if you see the green, the red, more than green, you should know the chain is down, okay? So for now, we can see one green, one red, two green, two red. This is the sideways right, because the amount is the same. Then we can see this one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four. Red, green candlestick, only two red candlestick. What's that meaning? This means that this tell us that we should know this is the uptrend because the green more than red candlestick. Okay? So we can see here three green candlestick. How much how many how much? How many? Two red candlestick, right? So you should know, still in the uptrend. But it may be you know, the next day, next week, drop a lot, what's that meaning? You should pay more attention because the trend is, the uptrend is not continued. Okay, so let's continue our class. 
the psychology of individual investors because we are all individual investors, right? So the first one, buy when the price go up, right? Then the next one, the price drop once bought, wait for the rebound. If you buy, the, you want to make money in the stock market, but you, you see the price drop when you buy, then you will wait and see, wait for the rebound. Maybe you will think that the market may, the price may go up again. So the next one, the price go down slightly, wait and see, or increase your position. Because you lost the money, right? If you want to uh, make back, you will add your condition, uh, increase your position. The next one, wait for the last chance. Then maybe you think there's no any chance in the downtrend. Then you will feel hopeless and sell out. Okay. So this is the psychology of individual investors because we are all individual investors. So we should know what should we do. Okay. So let's see the market. Firstly, let's see the Dow Jones Index because we have so many members who also play, who also invest in U.S. market. Then we can see this is the Dow Jones Index. Create a new high, right? always create a new high. So this market is quite good, okay? So let's say the, this is the KDJ. Why we use KDJ to judge the market? Because KDJ is the fast indicator. If you want to do short term rebound, short term, tra short -term trading, you can use KDJ, okay? So let's see this one. If you see the J line go up, uh, upward turning, which means the chain, the, there are some rebound, okay? So we can see here, the mark, the J line is still up, but if you see maybe the J line go down, then you should know that the market may have some correction, okay? So this is the Dow Jones index. Let's see the next one. We use homely rainbow to judge the trend because just now I already told you, if we want to make money in the stock market, we should analyze trend first. Okay, so let's see the trend of Dow Jones index. Then we can see the white line. White line is up and uh, all the lines are up. What's that mean? This is the uptrend, right? Uptrend for medium term, long term, and short term, okay? Then if you see the red line go down, you should uh, pay more attention to the short term correction, sell for short term, okay? So this is the market. Then we can see next one is for the KLCI. We know the ring dropped a lot. Okay, so you see here, the market, the J line go up and to here, right? Still up. But if you see the J line go down, you should pay more attention to the short term correction. So here is the short term correction. Here is also the short term correction. And if you see the J line upward cross the K and the D line, which means this is a theoretical low point and high point. Okay. Let's one. Chips distribution can help us to judge the support and the resistance. And the, I think this function is very good. If you want to know where is the resistance and support, you can use this function. So we can connect the high point or low point to the present price. Then we can see the drop chips distribution appears. The longer the chip is, the stronger and the support, uh, stronger support and resistance. So we can see the market. This is a big support, right? This is a big resistance. If you see the price, the market touch the resistance, then you should know there may have some some correction. So this is the market. Then we can see the Hansen index. This is the Hansen index because for the we know that the this market. Then we can see here. This is the lower low and the lower high. This is the uptrend, right? But the low, higher higher low and the higher high. This is the uptrend. For so here now we can know that the long term and the medium long term is still up, so the trend is okay. But we can see the red line and the yellow line go down, right? What that mean? The yeah, short term and medium short term is down. So if you see the red line can go up again, short term is okay. Then we can see next one. STI. This is the STI index because we can see here. This is a low point, right? High point. Low point, high point, high point, low point, high point. Okay? But we don't know whether it can go up, continue to go up or not. Why I mark this high point? Because it's very important. This is a low point. It has the support for the future price, okay? This is the resistance, okay? So we can see this one. 
the price just touch the support and go up again, right? But we can see here, yesterday the market just touched the resistance, create a, create a new high or not, up or the breakthrough or not. Not yet, right? Still cannot break through. So we know that this is the resistance. But if it can break up this resistance, where is the next resistance? Around here, right? So if it can break up again, maybe you have the market may have chance to touch this twice. Okay. So till now we don't know whether it can go up or not. We should check the next uh, to the next day the price can go, continue to go up or not. But if it cannot, what should we do? Better sell for short term, okay? If it cannot break out, you can see here, never break out, go down again. So here, cannot break out, go down again, right? So if the price just touch this one, maybe go down, then you should know that. So if it can go up again, Maybe you still have a chance to keep your strong stocks, okay? So this is the daily chart. So let's use the homely rainbow. We can see the homely rainbow lines. This is the white line, right? White line is down or flat? Flat, right. What's that mean? For long term, the market is, the trend is flat, the sideways. Then we can see the red line. Red line is up, which means the short term is okay, right? Okay, so you should know that if you want to buy some stocks, you only can do short term, cannot keep for cannot keep for one year or two years. It's not suitable. Okay, so let's see some. We can see this one start to drop again, right? Okay, then we can see this one. So this is the DBS, the blue chips, right? The mark, the trend is follow the market or not. Let's click the market uh, chart chart comparison. So you should know whether this stock good or not. Okay, then we can see the this is the market and this is the stocks. Then we can see here. So why you why you can know uh, how can you know that the trend the stocks is strong or not, okay? So we can see, we can compare to the index, compare with the index. So this is the low point, right? Low point. The market continue to go down, but this low point is go up, right? So what's that meaning? This stock is stronger than index. So if the market go up, we should operate these stocks, okay? So let's see this one. Speckman recently is also good, right? Then we can see the price, the market. So we see here, the market go up, right? The share go up. The market continue to go up, the share go up. But we can see here, the, the market create a new high, but the share cannot. So uh, during this period, the market, this stock is not good. So we better not operate. Then how do we know that the share start to open uh, strong again? So we can see here, the market drop right, but the stock, the low point is higher. So from this point, we know that this stock is stronger than index, okay? So you should know, this is the strong stocks with better operates, operate these stocks. Let's see another one, money. This one is strong or not. So we can see here, the market down, the share down, right? The market go up, the stock go up. The market go down, the share go down. Good or not? No, not good, right? Okay, then we can see what's the difference. So we see here, the market go up, the share go up, go down, then go down. Go up and go up. So we see here, the market, the high point is higher, but the high point is lower. So here, not good. So when you find that this stock can operate, we can see here, the market low point is lower, right? But this stock, the low point is higher. So stronger than index. If the market go up again, we should operate these stocks. 
because it can help us to earn money because this is due to this is the strong stocks okay so let's see the continue draw class today we will talk about the homely position first okay so homely position this function let's see the homely function is an indicator that we can predict the future trend through the integrated research of price volume relation. At the same time, homely position shows the strength comparison of the long and short. It can be used in daily and weekly chart. And daily chart is better, especially for strong stock, because it belongs to tendency indicator, but it is not suitable for media term consolidation. Okay, so let's see the homely rainbow. Homely position. We can click CHN, then click Homely position. We can see there are two signals will appear. The first one is increase, the next one is stop loss. So we can see this is the long term, the medium term consolidation area, right? If you use Homely position, you can see stop loss, the increase, stop loss, increase. Okay, so it's not suitable for medium term short consolidation okay then we can see here then we see here this is the increase point increase what that meaning you should uh, increase your position right so here if you buy you earn a lot of money right okay so later i will show you how to use this function very well so this is the function we can see the green line the green line can help us to judge the medium term trend if you see the green line is up medium term is up then if you see the green line is down, the medium term trend is down. And if you see the green line is flat, which means this is a consolidation area. Okay, so let's see some stocks. So every day we can find we can find some high volume stocks, then it's better for us to find some strong stocks, okay. But you should know this one is, is suitable for daily chart and the weekly chart, especially for daily chart. Okay. So let's see the high volume stocks. Right click volume. Then we can see the first one is noble. Good or not? We can see the green line is down or flat. It's down, right? Okay, so we, it tells us that can buy or not, wait and see, because for medium term trend, it's still not good, okay? So let's see next one. This one is the new stock, right? So we can see this one, Chris Energy. It's good or not? It's good, right? Because the trend, the green line is still up. Even we can see here, stop loss point appears, but the green line is still up. So you should, you cannot, you no need to sell out your stocks because the medium term trend is good. So you still can keep it, okay? Then here, increase again. Then you buy again, then you can keep your stocks. Then we can see next one. This one, the green line is up or down? Up, right? So firstly, we should analyze the chain first, then we can decide which point is the good buy point, okay? So let's see this one, good or not, Genting. So we see here, sideways for a long time, right? If you see the stock drop, then sideways for a long time, you should pay attention because this market, if you see the price can go up again, you can buy. So we can see here, the green line is flat, which means during this period, the trend is sideways. Then we can see here, the increase point of increase signal appears, and the green line go up, which means trend from sideways to the up trend. Then it's good, okay? So now we still can keep or not. The stop loss point is still not appear, so we can keep it, right? Okay, then we can see this one. Medium term trend is good, okay? But later I will show you how to judge the 
short-term trend. So we can see here, this share is good or not? Down trend, right? Because we can see here, the green line is from up to the to down, okay? So this is a medium down trend. We can see here, increase signal appear. Can we get it or not? No, because the green line is still down. So we'd better wait and see, okay? So let's continue our class. See here, if you see the increase signal appears, right? It is a increase point, but you should know. Why we call this the increase point, not the buy point? Because this is not the, if you see the increase signal appears, this is the not, this is not the first buy point. It's the second point, buy point, okay? So we call it increase point. Then stop loss point. Stop loss, not the sell, first sell point, okay? Because this is a stop loss. So maybe you buy at the long point. Here, you should stop loss, okay? But where is the sell point? The first the sell point, which I will show you, okay? Let's see this one. Increase signal appears, right? Here means the second buy point. If we have buy before, then here we can increase our position, but you should know that. The increase point, why the increase point signal appear? Because the white line up across the yellow line. So this is the increase signal, okay? So we can see here, if you see the increase signal appears, can we buy here or not? Maybe you will think about it because some members said can. Why? Because the future trend is good, right? But maybe here, from here, can we buy or not? Then you should know that. We should see the analyze the trend first. The trend is up or down. If you see the green line is still down, even if the increase signal appears, you cannot buy. Okay. Then if you see the increase, uh, the green line is up, you should not buy. Okay. So let's see next one. This one is the same. How to draw? Maybe you can see, you can compare with the pattern. Maybe it's better. Okay. So if you see the price drop, okay, then sideways, the increase signal appears. Buy or not? Buy. But if you see the price go up, then increase signal appears sideways for a long time, then increase signal appears, buy or not, better not buy, okay? So here, if you see the down to sideways, then increase signal appears, you can buy again because the possibility of making money is high, okay? So you should know that. The application of homely position. We should focus on the direction of green line first when we use homely position. The first one, the increase signal is by point when the green line is from down to flat. The next one, when the green line is, flat, uh, is from up to flat, we should wait and see for three days if stop loss appears. Then the next one, when the direction of green line is down, we need to wait and see even if increase signal appears. Okay, so in the first case, we can see here, increase signal appears, right? The green line from down to flat. So here, can we buy or not? Yes. yes. The buy point, okay? Then if we buy the price drop, maybe you will think that here, I should sell or not. Should I sell or not? Because the price drop. But we can see here, this is the half of the candlestick, right? If you see the candlestick uh, still above half of the candle, big bullish candlestick, so you still can keep it, okay? And we can see this is a band, right? We saw band. So we see here, the green line is still up, so we still can keep it. No need to sell, okay? So the next one, this is the buy point. In the second case, if you see the price, the green line is still up, which means the medium term trend is good. But we can see the price drop, right? 
because in the uptrend the price may have some rebound, uh, have some correction. Then if you see the price adjust and touch the green line, but the green line is still up, so this is the support. We can buy again because here is another back point. And if you see the stop loss appears, sell or not? No need to sell because the chain is good and uh, the green line has the support. Even if you see the stop loss appears, you still can keep your stock and wait and see. Okay? So here is not the sell point. Wait and see. Okay? Then, then we can see the next one. This one, right? Okay. So you should know that. Because many investors see this signal appears, maybe you sell out. Then if after you sell, the price go up. So we can see here, the next one in the third case, still downtrend, right? So we can see here, so increase signal appears, whether can buy or not. Cannot buy because the green line is still down, which means the media term trend is not good. So you cannot buy. You should wait and see. Okay, it's not good. So here, wait and see. Okay, then cannot buy. If you see the next day increasing appears, the next day the green line is still down. So here, stop loss appears. Sell. You should stop loss because. Chain is down, stop loss appears, you'd better sell out your stocks. Okay, so let's see some examples. Let's see some stocks. Okay, then we can see this one, Ezra. Increasing the appears, can we buy or not? Can we buy or not? So we can see here, the green line is down or flat. Okay. It's still down, right? Okay. Then it's still down. We'd better wait another day. Okay. Job. Then touch half of the candlestick. We can buy because we can see here the green line from down to flat. Okay. So here we buy again. Okay. Then we can see here. Stop loss point appears. Stop loss appears. Maybe you buy at this price. So here you should stop loss. Okay? But we can see this stop loss point. The green line is still down or not? Still up. Right. So here it's down. Okay? Then if we follow this signal, increase buy, stop loss. Sell. Can we earn money or not? Obviously, we cannot earn money because if we buy here, we sell here. We cannot earn money, lose some money, right? Why? Because we should know the trend is good or not. Trend is up trend or down trend. Okay. So we, if you see here, this is the green line, right? So how to increase your accuracy? This is why this is important. So we see here, can we buy here or not? Still cannot because the green line has resistance. So we should wait and see. Then we can see next one. Rex. This one is good or not? The increase signal appears here. Buy or not? Maybe you will wait and see because the green line is still flat. So sideways. Just not I already show you that. If you see the price drop, then sideways. Increase signal appears. Buy or not? Confirm to buy, okay? So we can see here, the price drop, then sideways, increasing and appears, buy or not? Buy. But we can see here, the price drop, then sideways, increasing and appears, buy or not? So we can see this stock. The price drop, then sideways, increasing and appears, buy or not? Buy, okay, because we should compare to the pattern. If you see the price drop, then sideways for some time, then increase signal appears. Buy or not? It's the buy point, okay? So we see here. Let's see this one. Firstly, we should see the overall trend, okay? It's 
better. So let's see this one. The price drop right. Then now sideways. Increase signal appears buy or not. We can buy because if you see the price didn't hit a new low, you should buy again. Okay? If you miss the good chance, so we see here. Uptrend or downtrend? Still uptrend because the green line is up. Then if you see the price drop far into the bend, then go up again. Here is another buy point. So you can buy, you can keep it. But we can see here, stop loss point appears, sell or not. If you buy at this price here, you should sell. Then now we can see the green line is flat. Then if the see the price touch the green line has the sub, uh, resistance, okay. So let's see this one. Can we buy here or not? The increase signal just appears. Can we buy or not? Okay, then we see here. We see the overall trend. So here, can we buy or not? Increase signal appears. Okay, so we see here, the green line is up or down? It's still down, right? So we better wait and see, okay? Then if you see the green line is flat, maybe you can consider, consider buying, okay? So let's see, continue our class. Notice, when we use homely position, we should pay more attention to the direction of the green line. If the green line moves down, and the price stand below the green line, it means the rise is only for rebound, okay? If the direction of green line moves up and the price stands above the green line, it means the price, the rise is uptrend. So if the uh, direction of green line is moved down, the price stands below the green line, it means the fall is downtrend. So the next one, if the direction of green line moves up and uh, the price stands above the green line, the fall is correction in the uptrend. So let's see this example. This is only for rebound. We can see here, the green line is here, down right. Then you can see here. Okay. So we see the next one. Okay. See the rebound, right? So how why we see here is the rebound? Because the green line is down, right? So you can see the price up. This is only for rebound. You cannot keep for a long time. You should sell quickly. Maybe you can use some good method to to set few, uh, to set the short term sell point. So how to do that? Maybe you can see this is the low point, right? The first one, the second one, the third one, sell or not? Here you sell. Why? Last time I show you this function is suitable for short term. If you confirm that this is only for rebound, you can use this method to sell quickly, okay? So let's see this one. The price go up, this is only for rebound, right? Because the green line is still down. So here is the lowest point, right? One, two, three, sell or not? Sell quickly, okay? So here, the first low point, right? One, two, three, sell or not? Sell off your stocks. So this is the method for judging the rebound. Okay, so let's see some examples. Let's see some downtrend. This one is still good, right? You see, if you buy here, buy here, or buy here, you can earn a lot. Okay, so let's see this one. So we can see this stock up during this period, uptrend or downtrend? Downtrend. Downtrend because the green line is still down, okay? So you know that this is only for, if you buy this stock, you should know when to sell, okay? So here, the low point, right? 
green one, two. Then we can see the price just touch the green line because we know that the green line has some resistance. So cannot break out. You should uh, sell quickly. Okay. So touch the support resistance again. Sell or not? Sell out your stocks. Okay. Then let's see here. This is the increase signal appears right. Here is the buy point. Here is another buy point, another buy point. But we can see, now can we buy or not? Cannot, because we can see here. Let's judge the trend, okay? So we can see the two look, green candlestick, right? Three bearish candlestick. One, so down trend or up trend? We can judge the chain from the uh, through the candlesticks, okay? So you can see the red candlestick is more than green candlestick. So here, up trend or down trend? Down trend. Up trend to down trend, sell or not? It's the sell opportunity, okay? So if you not sell, you will lose a lot of, uh, lose a lot of money, right? So here, whether can we buy here or not? There's no buy point appears, so we cannot buy. Wait and see, okay? So let's see this one. Increase signal appears, so can we buy or not? So we can see this one. Increase signal appears. The green line is down or flat? Still down, right? Right, still down. So we know that this year the green line has the resistance. If the green line can go up again, maybe you have another chance to operate these stocks. Then let's see this one. Sell or not, Speckman. Still can keep right. There's no sell point appears, so we can wait and see. Because we can see the trend. Two bearish, two bearish, two bullish candlestick, only one bearish candlestick. So the trend is still uptrend, okay? So we can see this one. Let's see this start, okay? Can you tell me where is the good buy point? No. Here, can we buy or not? Yes, because the price drop, then drop to the band, right? So here is another buy point. Later I will tell you where is the good buy point. Okay, so this is the rebound. So we can see here, this is the uptrend. Why? Because the green line is up. Right. So this is the uptrend. Then we can see next one. Downtrend or uptrend? Okay. Downtrend, okay. So this is the downtrend. Because we can see the green line is still down. So if you buy these stocks, you should uh, sell quickly. Okay, then we can see here, this is the rebound or reversal. We bond right. Why? Because the green line is still down. So we can see this is the low point, right? When to sell. If you see the price touch the green line, you should sell quickly because the trend is still down. Okay. So let's continue. Uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend, right? So this is the uptrend. Then if you see the price is in the uptrend, you have not many chance to buy again. Because here, when you see the price touch the support line, you can buy. Here, another buy point. Here, buy or not? Can we, we can buy. Here, also buy point. Right. Because the trend is good. So let's just now I showed you that. A uh, trend is important, okay? This is the first increase signal, right? Position can we buy? Later I show you. Okay. So let's see the formula of using homely position. I will tell you how to catch the first buy point, second buy point, third buy point, and fourth buy point. Okay. First one, a big home pieces triple dragons. Increase when two dragons case. Buying when the price is supported by money pocket. Touch green dragon and move up is great. 
this is the formula. I don't know whether you can understand or not, because this is my translation. Maybe <laughs> have some mistake, right? So maybe you cannot understand. Okay. Then later I will explain to you the details. Okay. So the first one is the big horror piece is the triple dragons. What's the dragons? This is the dragon. Okay. So what that mean? If you see the big, the bullish candlestick, upward cross. Upward breakthrough, the K line, the yellow and the white line. And the yellow and the white line is up. So here is the buy point. First the buy point, not the set, not the, this is the first buy point, not the increased one, okay? So here is the first buy point. Then we see here. Not. Big bullish candlestick, upward cross the yellow, upward breakthrough the yellow and the white line. This is the first buy point. And you can see the increase appears again, means you can buy more. Okay, so here is the buy point. Then we can see next one. Where is the first buy point? Let's see this one. This is Yang Zijiang. Here can we buy or not? The bullish candlestick upward breaks through the yellow and the white line. Can we buy or not? Upward breakout. See breakout or not? Not yet, right? So wait and see. Here, buy or not? You should see the promise is that the volume increase. Okay, increase or not? No, wait and see. <coughs> Can we buy or not here? Not break up or break out the two lines, right? So we should wait and see. Can we buy here? Yes. Cross upward break upward break through the two lines, right? Can we buy or not? Yes. So I told you that this is the first buy point. Okay. Because first buy point means you cannot buy four position. Maybe you can buy one fourth or one third position, okay, because the trend is still down. Then increase appears, increases the, let's see this one. Just now I already show you this one can buy or not. If you don't have this stock, you see this candlestick appears, can we buy here or not? We should assure. We should uh, okay. See here, the premise is you can see the candlestick upward break through the two lines, yes. white and yellow line. Can buy or not? Okay. You sure can buy? Then we can see the volume increase or decrease. Decrease. Volume is very important for breakout. Okay. But if it go down, you don't need to care about volume. But if you see the buy point, you should uh, see the volume, okay? Here, can buy or not? Increase appears, okay? But we can see the green line is down or flat. Still down, right? So maybe you should wait another day, okay? The the green light still down or flat? Still down, right? Maybe if you see the increase signal appear, you wait another day, the green light should uh, flat, then the market will have chunk. But we can see the market wait some wait for three days. The green light is still down, right? So we cannot buy. Wait and see. Here, can we buy or not? Can buy or not? Okay. First buy point, right? 
but you should know this is the first buy point, right? So maybe you missed another chance here. Can we buy or not? Yeah. We can see here. The big bullish candlestick upward across the green, the white and the yellow line. White and yellow line should upward turning. The volume increase. And we can see the green line is flat. Okay. So here buy or not? Buy. Okay. Then we wait and see. So this is the first point. If you see the big bullish candlestick upward across the K, the white and yellow lines, the white and yellow line upward turning, volume increase. This is the first buy point. So we see the first one. A big call piece is triple dragons. This is the meaning. Okay. So let's see the second one. Increase when two dragon case. Increase. This is the big bullish candlestick. Break out the three line. Not three line. Two lines is enough. Three line is better. Okay. So we can see here. Where is the good buy point? We should combine with the volume. Volume is very important. So if you see here, volume increase. So here combine a lot. Maybe you will hesitate. Okay. Then we can see here. Upward cross again. And the you, you should wait. Uh, here is the back point, right? Okay. Then increase signal appears is the second back point. So we can see the white line upward cross the yellow line. This is the increase signal, another back point. Okay. So here is another back point. Then you should wait another day. The Maybe here you need to wait and see, right? Then if you see the green lines from down to flat, you can see here you can find some chance to get in. Okay. So this is the second buy point. So let's see some examples. This is one. Increase when the white line goes across the yellow line. Okay. So this is the second buy point. So we can see here. Increase signal appears from down to flat. So here, maybe here is the back point. Here, you should wait. Maybe around here is second back point. Okay. So let's see some examples. Let's see this one. Here, can we buy or not? If you see the first, this is the big bullish candlestick up across the tray, the white line and the yellow line. What do you mean increase by or not? We can see here. If you see the price just touch the green line, maybe you should know this is the resistance, right? But they have some distance. So here, can we buy or not? First, the buy point, right? Wait, you see, touch the resistance, right. go down again, right? Increase appears. Then we can see the direction of the green line. Green line is down or flat? Right. From down to f almost flat, right? Yes, so which means that here? We have another chance, right? But now we should wait and see, okay? We, where is the good buy point again? The third one. Let's see the third one. It is another buy point. When candlestick fall in the resonance band and go up again, fall into the band and go up again. And the premise is that the green line is still up. So this is the second bad point. The third bad point. So we can see here. This stock. You should if you don't have this stock, you miss a good chance to get in. Where is the next the third bad point? You can see the green line is still up. Then when you see the price drop in the band, 
and uh, go up again. This is the by point. Then we can see. Let's see this dark. Here can we buy or not? Okay. Okay, then we can see here. The price after the breakthrough the three lines, right? The volume increase. So here buy or not. First the buy point. But you should know the first buy point is the is a little danger because the trend is still down. You should stop, set stop loss point quick. You should set stop loss point. Then here is the buy point, right? You buy another day. You just keep it because you can see the chain is still up. So here, the price drop in the band again, right? So have another chance. Then we can see now can buy or not. Can we buy again or not? Okay. Then we can see here, the green line is flat or down? Flat, right. Okay, then this is the candlestick, with, uh, the bullish candlestick, up of the breakout, the white line and the yellow line. Volume increase, can buy or not? The first buy point, right. This is the first buy point, okay. Then you should know where is the second buy point. This is the first one. Okay. Then let's see the next one. Price drop, but touch the main line and get support. If you see here, the price drop into the band, and you can see another day go up. You can buy again. If you see the price drop to the green line, green line still up. Here is another buy point. The fourth buy point. Okay, so here the fourth buy point. So how many position is not suitable for suitable in sideways? If you see the price is in sideways, you better not use this signal to judge. Okay, because if you use this one, buy sell buy sell frequently, you will lose you will lose money. Okay, so if you see the trend is sideways, you'd better not use this function to judge. Okay, so. How many position and uh, combine with the bottom catch? What is the bottom catch? Bottom catch signal. Okay, then we can see this one. Click signal. Then here, bottom catch. Okay, then you will see the blue signal appears. What's the blue signal? Because we know that we all have handphone watch and light. Right, handphone watch and. Handphone watch and there are some indicate some signal called bottom catch is the same with computer one okay so if you don't have the handphone version you can use this one to judge bottom catch the same function okay so we can see here bottom catch means you can catch for bottom right but you should know uptrend for is the good chance to catch is for good chance to catch the low point to buy but for the downtrend, you'd better wait and see. Okay, so let's see here. The bottom catch appears. Then we can combine with the homely position. If you see the bottom catch signal appears, and uh, this one is the buy point, you should com you com you can confirm that. Here is the buy point. Okay. So we can see next one. We see some. We click bottom catch. Let's click. Let's. We can click. We can use two windows. Firstly, we can click SGN, the bottom catch signal. The next one, click CHN, homely position. Okay, so let's see this one. How to increase our accuracy? So let's see this one. 
the, the blue candlestick appears. Can we buy or not? Buy or not? No. Cannot, right. Because the chain is not good, so cannot buy. Bottom catch signal appears again. Can buy or not? If next day the buy point is certified, we can see the big bullish candlestick after the cross is two, right? Bottom catch appears. So here, buy or not? Buy point. Okay, you can confirm that. Then if you see the touch the resistance, sell quickly. So we can see here, up again, right? Because you see, if you see the bottom cash signal appears first, the next day or the future price, around, uh, the next day, the buy point of home liquidation is certified. You can buy because the currency is high. Okay, so we can see the first one, bottom cash signal appears right next day, buy or not? Confirm to buy, okay? So here is another buy point. Then we wait and see. Okay, then we can see here. Bottom catch appears again. The trend is uptrend or downtrend? Still uptrend, right? So if you see the price is in the uptrend, bottom catch signal appears, you can buy again, okay? So here is the, another buy point. Then, here, can we buy or not? No. 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 Bottom catch signal appears, right? You should wait. If the next day, the buy point of home liquidation can... Then if you see this one, if you see the candlestick upward breakthrough, upward breakthrough these two lines, you can buy because bottom catch signal appears first. Okay, so next day, if this one, you can buy again, okay? So let's see next one. Then we can see the next uh, step. Okay, then we continue. So this one, let's see this candlestick. Can we buy here or not? Here is the blue candlestick. Can we buy or not? Another day, buy or not? Yes, here is the buy point, okay? Then you can Yes, meaning the bottom cash candlestick, the next candlestick must be up. Candlestick, uh, so yes, must up. up. Okay, then we can see this one, buy or not. Increase appears, you can buy again, right? Because bottom cash appears first. The next one, the buy, candle, buy signal of home position appears again. You can buy, confirm to buy. Or you can see here is the blue candlestick and this is the buy point of home position. Here is another good buy point. Okay, so we can see next one. There's no bottom catch. So we can see here. Bottom catch appears right. The trend is uptrend or downtrend. Still uptrend, right? Because the green line is up. So next day you buy. Okay, then you can earn some money. Then we can see next one. Here can buy or not? Cannot, because we should wait. So we see here, this is the downtrend, right? The blue candlestick appears. If the next day, the buy point of home position appears, maybe we can buy, okay? But if you see the blue candlestick appears in the downtrend, we'd better wait and see. Buy point still not appear, buy or not? Still cannot, right? Okay, then we wait and see. 
than here. Can we buy or not? Can we buy here or not? Yes, because rule can, bottom catch appears first, the next, then future price, the buy point appears. You can buy. It's okay. So here you can buy. Okay. So we see here, this is the buy blue candlestick appears right, but we can see the trend is downtrend or uptrend. Sideways right, wrong sideways. Next day, up again, buy or not? This one buy or not? You can buy, because bottom catch appears first, then here we can buy, okay? Then earn some money. So let's see this one. If you see the price, if you see the trend is uptrend, bottom catch appears, you can buy, okay? So here you buy because trend is up. So here another buy point. Then we can see downtrend is different. So we see here. This is the downtrend or uptrend downtrend right. The blue candlestick appears with better way than C. Buy or not? Here buy or not? Here can we buy or not? This point can we buy or not? Volume will not increase, okay? Buy or not? Why no buy? Here, the bullish candlestick upward breaks through the yellow line and white line, volume increase, buy or not? Here is the buy point because bottom catch appears first, okay? Then we can buy for short term. Because why we know that this is a short term? So we can see the green line is still down, right? So we should know this is only for rebound, okay? So we can see here. Can we buy here or not? Wait and see, okay? Next day, buy or not? Buy, but you should know this is only for rebound. We, how to judge the trend is reversal. If you see the green line is up, it's the reversal, it's the uptrend, okay? But for now, it's still rebound. Then, cannot break out, you should sell quickly. So here increase appears, but the green line is still down, right? So you should uh, see here. Maybe you buy at long point, but here you should stop loss because the green line is still down. This is only for rebound, okay? So we can see here, the blue candlestick appears. Can we buy here or not? Can we buy at this price or not? So we should see the conditions. The first one, bullish candlestick upward breaks through the white line and the yellow line. What do we increase or decrease? C, buy or not? Wait and see, okay? So you wait and see. So here, bottom catch appears, buy or not? C, next day, still cannot buy, okay? But if you see the next day, maybe here, the candlestick upward breaks through the red line, uh, the yellow line and the white line, volume increase, can buy or not? Yes, it's the buy point, okay. Then we can see next one. So let's see this one. This is the blue candlestick appears right. We should wait and see. When to get in? Here can we buy or not? No. How about here? How about this price? Can buy or not? Yes, because big bullish candlestick up across the white line and yellow line. Volume increase. Bottom catch appears first. So here is the buy point. Okay, you buy at this day, then you can wait and see. Okay. 
So this is the bad point. Maybe you missed a good chance. Here, another bad point. Okay, so this is the bad point. So we see here, blue candlestick appears right, way that C. Next day, here, buy or not, buy point. Okay, why? Because if you see the downtrend, if you see the price is in the uptrend, you see the cap bottom cash signal appears, you can buy because uptrend. But if you see the trend is downtrend, green line is down, you even, even if you see the blue candlestick appears, you should wait and see. If you see the another day, maybe in the future, the price, the buy, the buy point of home position appears, you can confirm to buy. Okay, so let's see next one. Let's see this dark. This is the bottom catch, right? But the trend is down trend or up trend? Okay. Down trend, okay. So we see, firstly, we see here, buy or not. Right. We see here, can buy or not. Okay. So I already told you that if you see the buy point, volume is important, okay? If the volume decreases, not good. Okay, then we can see here. Blue candlestick appears right. We can pay attention, but cannot get in now. Buy or not? Here is the buy point, okay? But you should know, if you see the trend is in the downtrend, you cannot buy some, you cannot keep all position, buy some position, okay? So here is the buy point you wait and see, okay? Maybe you buy another day, then now you still can keep it. So we see here, it's the same. Blue candlestick appears, right? Blue candlestick appears, but the trend is down trend. Can buy or not? How about this price, this candlestick? If you see that this signal appears, buy or not? It's the buy point, okay? Then now increase appears. So the volume is important for us to judge the buy point, okay? So let's continue. So we have a slide that shows all the conditions of buy and sell. Okay, perhaps. Uh, no, uh, it's, sure, now I show you. Buy once bottom catch signal appears in the uptrend, the line is up. So this is the buy point, okay? So here, buy point. Here, another buy point, because the trend is good. But you should know, you should check by the volume, okay? Volume is down, volume is decreased, not better, okay? So volume is very important. Then the next one, this is the down trend, right? Wait and see when bottom catch appears in the downtrend, main line is down. But when to get in, if you see here, blue candlestick appears ahead, then the next day, the buy point of homely position appears. Maybe you can consent to buy, okay? So this is the homely position or the, the homely. So we can see here, here is the buy point, right? Here is another buy point, but here, why this one is not good buy point? Because this one volume decreased. Okay, so we wait and see. Wait and see when bottom catch signal appears while the band is down. Okay. How to filter? Before the filter, I will review the. Today we learned about the homely position, right? Okay, only position, we should remember the four buy point. Today I will not teach you the sell point. The sell point you should know. If you do short, short, short rebound, maybe keep less than 10 days, okay? So we can see here the important thing. You should remember, okay? So the first buy point, the four buy points of homely position. The first buy point, if you see the bottom catch, uh, we can combine with the bottom catch and review it again. How to combine? If you see the bottom catch thing that appears, okay, 
the chain is uptrend, so you can buy, and the volume increase, you can buy, okay? Then if you see this is the downtrend, if you see the downtrend, the blue candlestick appears, you should wait and see. Wait till the buy point or public position appears, you can consider buying, okay? So how to filter this? A big horn piece is triple dragon. Select the shares which just above, just move. Premise, a big young candlestick break out the three lines of homely position at the end of share price four. The condition filter, this is the filter condition, HPOS, BRE. Later I will show you how to do this, okay? So this is the condition, I show you how to do this. So firstly, we want to find some stocks. Click technical filter, okay. The next one, we want to find some, uh, let's see this one. This one, we change the logical filter to original indicator to HPOS means homely position. Then we can add some condition. We are one less than we are two. We are two less than main line. Then we are one upward turning. We are two upward turning. Yes, later I will show you how to do this. This I just uh, let you know this. We are one less than we are two. We are two less than main line. We are one upward turning. We are two upward turning. What's that meaning? This is the Downtrend, okay. This one we filter the, the first buy point, okay. Then this one is for signal program. Signal program, bottom catch signal. Okay, so let's click how to do this. Firstly, we should click technical filter, then click logical filter. Change the original indicator to HPOS. This is the HPOS. No need to change the parameter, okay? You just click VR1 less than VR2, what's that meaning? The white line is below the yellow line. Yellow line below the main line, okay? So this one less than VR2. Then next one, we are two less than main line. Click main line, click add. Okay. So this is the first condition, right? The next one, we are one. Upward turning means the white line and the yellow line are all upward turning. Okay. So click upward turning, click add. We are two upward turning, add. It's okay or not? This only find the candlestick, the signals, right? Okay, the next one, we should click homely signal, uh, signal program. This one, bottom catch, bottom catch signal. You just click filter. Then let's see whether can filter some stocks or not. This one good or not? Not good, right? Cannot buy. This one can buy or not? Volume, no volume. So wait and see. This one cannot. This one can buy or not? No volume. This one better than the others, right? How about this one? But you should know, chain is still down. If you want to buy, only for rebound, okay? So, so we filter some stocks. Then if you think you filter so many stocks, you can add one more position. One more position is Uh, not this one. 
you can click this one. One, two, ten. You can add one more position, then click filter. But it's up to you. You just uh, can filter these stocks, but whether can buy or not, you should wait a second. Because recently, so many stocks are already up, right? So maybe you missed a good chance. This one can buy or not? No, because no volume, right? This one also cannot. This one may be better than the others, right? You can see here, then here, by point. Here, another by point. Then we can see next one. Here, this one volume decrease, right? So this one. Then you can filter. Maybe you can choose one or two stocks, right? Maybe this one is better than the others. So maybe you can keep this. Oh, this is the future. I repeat again. Firstly, you should click technical future. This is for the homely position filter. Click logical filter, change the original indicator to HPOS. Then VAR1 more than and equal to VAR2. VAR2 more than equal to main line. VAR1 and VAR2 upward turning. The next one. Signal program, bottom catch signal. The next one, quotation, one, two into the change is to turn. Okay, so this is the condition. Then you just click filter, it's all. So remember these conditions. Incur importance of stop loss, because for us, we Never stop loss when we once we bought wrong point. Okay, let's see this one. A person opened a clothing store and a restaurant. However, clothing store is a loss. The restaurant is profitable. Now this person needs to close one store due to difficulty in cash flow. Which one will you choose to close? Because you opened a clothing store and a restaurant. But you know, the restaurant you may you can make, can let you make money, but closing store you will lose money. So you need to ch close one store. Which one you will close? Obviously the closing store, right? Because it cannot make money for you, so you should uh, close. Then in the stock market, if you have a lot of stocks, will you sell or hold when losers gradually increase? Sell or hold? No. Sell. Okay, you cannot keep so many loser stocks, right? So you cannot keep. Then if you bought one stock at two dollars, then the price had been down to the recent price around one with fifty percent loss. Maybe we buy some stocks, but we lost the money, right? At the later stage, the price flows from one to one point five with 50 rows, what's the difference? So you maybe you think, you, you, you will find it that it's difficult to make money in the stock market, but lose money is so easy, why? Because maybe you see here, if you buy the price around two, right? Then the price jump to one, you will lose half, 50%, right? But you can see, if the price goes from one to 1.5, how many? 50%. So can you see the difference? So you should from this one, you cannot, you, you, you will understand why it's difficult to make money. If you, you see here, therefore, have you recovered your cost? Maybe you buy the price, it's the, like this. You buy the price, buy the stock around $2, then jump to $1 you lost around 50%, right? Then the price from one to two dollars again, how many percent should you write? 100%, you should know. So you will find it, the money is too difficult, right? Because if one dollars to two dollars, 
maybe here one two dollar to one dollar only fifty percent, but from one dollar to two dollars is the one hundred percent. This is the difference. Okay, so therefore, have you recovered your cost? Cost. You can recover your cost only the price lose one hundred percent. Then you can cover your cost. If you stop loss and sell at one point eight, maybe you sell at one point eight, you stop loss, right? Then later up fifty percent. Now your stock price is two point seven. Can you understand? So maybe you will keep it. Many investors think if I don't sell, I will not lose money. But you should know two to one. You lost the fifty percent, right? But if you buy around two dollars, you sell around one point eight. You lost uh, some money, right? But if you see here, then down, go up again, one point eight to then up to uh, up to around fifty percent. The price is around two point seven. You can earn money. So you should know the importance of stop loss. Okay, I hope you can remember this because if you don't sell, maybe you think I will not lose. The price may go up again, but you should know if the price, the mark, the price can cover your cost. It's hard. Okay, so you should remember this. So if you stop loss, then sell at uh, one point eight. Later up fifty percent. Now your stock price is two point seven. So this this point this story tells you that the importance of stop loss. So I hope every members can stop loss if you buy at wrong point. Okay. So this is today's course, and uh, thank you for attending the seminar. Thank you so much.